finally, a real Godzilla movie. This review will be legendary. Hell yeah. Yeah, let's do this. Hell yeah. Move out of the way, Eric Godzilla. Let a real Godzilla movie show you how it's done. Hello, everybody. It is me, Super Godzilla Final Wars here. And today we're going to be reviewing the third third movie of the MonsterVerse franchise, Godzilla King of the Monsters. And holy crap, was this film way better than its 2014 in predecessor. Sir, and the 98 film combined. This film actually takes elements from both the Showa and Heisei era of the Godzilla films. That we all love so much. Not only that, that's, but the battle scenes between the monsters, they're just not completely dark anymore. They're actually sort of bright now. We can actually see the monsters this time. It's like, it's like Legendary Studios watched the Monster Island Buddies' review of Godzilla 2014 and took all of their criticisms to heart. Huh. It's kind of, I think it is kind of like that, huh? But still. This film is possibly the one of the best films in the MonsterVerse, in my opinion. And the reason why I say this is not just because they brought back actual iconic monsters that actually do them right, unlike Earth Godzilla, on the other hand. Earth Godzilla didn't even use their characters right. They just kind of wasted them. But in this film, well, they actually do them right, and not only that, the characters all of them are great. Except... Oh boy, I got a feeling I know who he's gonna, who he's gonna point at. Why the hell is there another character wanting revenge on Godzilla? Oh my god. Oh my god. We should have seen this coming, Legendary. Yeah, we should have seen this coming. Oh boy. Don't get me, just, just, don't get me wrong. Oh, this character actually has some character arc. Some. It's not great, but it's better than Horror's character arc. But, really, why is there another character who wants revenge on Godzilla? Like, I, like in the show era, it was cool at first, but in the Heisei, it was like, okay, not surprising. But in the Millennium Era, it was like, oh my god, they're doing this again. And now, this is getting old. And now, we got, and then we got the Earth Godzilla trilogy, and, now, and people were like, alright, this is getting way too old. Like seriously, why why is it that legend why is that every single Godzilla movie has to have a character who hates Godzilla so damn much? Why can't there be like another monster that Godzilla ends up fighting and kills that monster and that character ends up liking Godzilla? <clears throat> I don't know. Maybe one of these days we'll get a Godzilla movie where there's no human characters that want revenge on Godzilla. But still, this movie was really great. Not only that, I liked, liked how Legendary combined the Showa roars and the Legendary roars. Com like, I like how they combined both of those roars. Not only that, but they actually brought back the iconic Godzilla theme. Like, like it was just so amazing when I heard that theme in theaters. I was like, oh my god, yes! <laughs> The soundtrack in this movie is ten times better than freaking the Earth Godzilla soundtrack. Because it's the same soundtrack that you normally hear in God of Freaking War. I would have liked this film better if Madison Russell was like the main character. Sure. You don't like her father? No, I do not like her father, and you'll see why in Godzilla vs. Kong review. I got a feeling it's going to be a lot of negative thoughts about Madison's father. 
not only that, but I actually like how they give if each of the monsters kaiju is different and interesting designs. Like, look at King Ghidorah here. He looks freaking menacing. And speaking of King Ghidorah, he's actually a flat-out menace in this movie. Where Planet Eater delivers more like a, like a god-like uh, Ghidorah. And this Ghidorah, legendary Ghidorah, is a flat-out menace. He's like, he's like out to kill everything and wanting to kill Godzilla so he could become the new king of the monsters. There's, not only that, but my favorite part was like how Godzilla and King Ghidorah are out to fight each other for the role as Alpha. I think that was a lot of interesting parts that every single Godzilla movie was, was missing, like an ancient real rivalry between Godzilla and King Ghidorah. Not only that, Rodan was a flat out badass. Yes, but a lot of people didn't like how the fact that he, like, he was easy, like, he was, like, so, like, easy to become, like, Ghidorah's. Yeah, I know, I get, I still get comments every single day. And for Mothra, she was a flat-out badass and more, actually more dangerous than her. Mothra in the past Godzilla movies actually wasn't that much of a good fighter. But in this film, the monsters? Holy crap that Mothra actually stood her ground. Especially dealing with Rodan. Even though Rodan was actually giving her a hard time, but in the end, Mothra was managed to stood her ground and managed to beat Rodan all on her own without any help. Not only that, but I also like the fact how there's no Mothra twins. Literally, there's no Mothra twins. Like, seriously, like, whenever there's Mothra, there's normally, like, Mothra twins. Um, I think that one of those scientist girls who was with Mark Russell, I think one of them happens to be, like, like one of the Mothra twins. I don't really know. But she has a twin sister who sees Mothra hatching and becoming her adult form. Oh. I wish they had more of an interesting role besides it just being there. And that's kind of my only problem with this film. I mean, I wish they had more of an interesting role because, like, every single character that we see, they're just kind of there. They're not really interesting or considered as the main characters because, well... There's more like side characters for the Russell family. I would have liked twenty I would have liked twenty nineteen's King of the Monsters better if all of these characters had actual roles besides just being there and supporting characters for the Russell family. And I like the fact that we get some new kaiju, but I wish that we could have stayed more on them. Like, I don't know, like, get good long looks at these kaiju, like Behemoth, Methuselah, Skeela, Queen Mudo. Hell, even introducing some other monsters. And, in fact, I think Angurus was in the movie. He was, like, there for a split second. Yeah, he was there, but he was more like a skeleton. Yeah, uh, we tried to convince Legendary to bring Angurius into the MonsterVerse, but they were only managed to get sort of the rights to me, Fire Chicken, and Moth Lady over here. Uh, I would have liked it better if we saw Angurius. Like, I don't know, like... And I wish we could have seen more of these other monsters, like, stay on them, stayed on them for a little while longer. And I wish we could have stayed on King Ghidorah's Alpha Call, showing more than just Skeela and Methuselah waking up. Because within a way, you only woke up two monsters, and the others just happen to wake up for conveniences. But 
you know, this film is way better than the Earth Got Gold trilogy. So, in the end, I'm going to give this movie, believe, nine Golden Godzilla stars. I would like it better if Madison was the main character and the other characters had actual roles in the movie. And we would have saw a bit more of the monsters and Ghidorah's alpha call. But in the end, this film was great. It was a really great movie. In my opinion, at least. Well, that's it. Scott Clark's Kong and the New Empire takes that title away. Just I've been hearing people are immediately declaring that movie as the best out of the MonsterVerse franchise. Seriously? It's not even out yet. People are already declaring it as the best movie? I wonder why. Hmm. Maybe something happens in the movie that makes this movie more better than all of our movies combined? Only one way to find out. Oh, just wait for like a couple of months and see the movie. movie. And when I see that movie, I will be a, the, the official judge if this movie, if God's Lex Kong, The New Empire, is officially the best out of the best movie out of the entire monsterverse. But yeah, hope you guys enjoyed this video. Like, comment, subscribe, and stay tuned for my review of Godzilla vs. Kong and Godzilla vs. Gigant Rex and Godzilla vs. Megalon and minus one when I get the movie. Hopefully. And hopefully Godzilla, X-Kong, The New Empire and possible other Godzilla movies, but until then minus one vs. For versus Megalon and Godzilla X Kong the New Empire are the current newest Godzilla movies we have so far, so yeah. Boom! I have officially redeemed myself. You guys wanna go grab some and see eat at Sonic or whatever? Hell yeah, I love Sonic. Hell yeah, let's go, yeah. Later guys. Man, I really enjoy that film. Would have been better that our rank Gears if Angurius and Gigan showed up so that we can have a Godzilla versus Gigan in reference in this movie. That would have been way better.